Hey, uh, is this, uh, just James Murphy? Yeah, I'm calling about the, uh, the camera. I'm really interested in picking it up. Maybe we can meet up somewhere? Well, no, no, no. I, I understand that. I'm, I, I'm not really comfortable meeting at the house, you know. There's a lot of weird people these days. A lot of, uh, dangerous, weird people. Maybe, maybe we should meet somewhere in public. Alright, uh, tell you what. I've got a couple errands to run. Um, and then I'll meet you there uh, in an hour. Great. We'll see you there. You know what a life is worth? $77.17. That's it. At least it's what James Murphy's life was worth. That's how much it cost me to take it. You'll probably read the more mundane details of my life in a biography someday. So I'll spare you my shoe sizes and favorite television shows. I'm sure my Uncle Carl, the one with the comb over and halitosis, will take care of any chronicles that are necessary. I never meant to be a murderer. I doubt anyone ever does. I really thought of myself as a protector. When Matt was taken, I expected to go through all the emotions that you read about in the psychology magazines. I'm sure a lot of fathers find their way through just fine, but I never got past rage. It just clicked, and it made sense. Rage was what I was. It was what I had become. I bet most of you would have done it in secret, sneaking around while thinking of what you had to lose. Not me. I wanted James Murphy to see it coming. Matt would forgive me. I'm sure he would. They're big on forgiveness in heaven. Only a cruel and vicious God would refuse to excuse that one sin and ease my son's pain. I wasn't looking for any salvation for myself. Either way, it didn't work out the way I expected. Mr. Harper, this is Detective Princett. There's been a break in the case. I'm not sure how we got lucky, but we just picked up James R. Murphy. The DNA match was positive. I guess your hunch about that lens was right. Call me back. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What are the odds? 